Okay, we're going to get started now. Today's Tech Talk webinar is on the Little Grade Book Categories. And let me get my screen share going here. Okay, right now I'm showing, of course, our Moodle course shell that you may have remembered from last time. And back last week, we had just a series of assignments. And I had the week one assignment, week two assignment, et cetera, et cetera. So now I've got some discussion forums and some quizzes. So we have a collection of week one activities, forums, assignments, and quizzes. So today we're going to categorize these. Um, if you want, in, in the grade book, I should say. I was going to say, um, if, you're, if you're running a really super simple Moodle course with just a handful of any kind of gradable items, you may not need to even bother, want to bother with categorizing these items. But if you're starting to use, uh, use gradable items in your course all the way down the run of the term, as you can see, we have 10 instances each of the forum assignment and quizzes here, which that'll be, of course, 30 in your gradebook which we'll take a look at right now. So as we scroll from left to right, there's quite a few items in there. Let's move into the categories and items view of the gradebook. I'm looking at my notes over here in case you're wondering why I'm looking down. Yes, Paul uses paper. So here's, here's the, uh, the gradebook view in the categories and items view. So you'll see all the assignments, you see all the discussion forums, and you'll see all the quizzes. And so you might think it might get to a point here where it might be good to have some categories set up in your, in your Moodle gradebook. Let me just list off some of the basic benefits of utilizing categories versus not utilizing them in your Moodle gradebook. First of all, of course, you'll see here in a minute, um, there, there can be a, a better level of, of visual organization in your gradebook. You can have subtotal, uh, subtotals and weighting for different categories of items separate from that uh, overarching uh, aggregation method I mentioned last week. You can have different aggregation methods within for the gradable items within a category, if you like. You can indicate to drop or keep the highest grade. Um, both that aspect and the uh, weighting of categories in your gradebook. We're going to cover those in, in uh, future week segments. And related to that is you can also employ different aggregation methods in one gradebook. So that relates to what I just mentioned too. So for this session, we're just going to get into why and how to go ahead and implement some categories in your little gradebook. So again, I'm in the categories and items view of my gradebook. And that drop down again up here is, where, is how you get to that. So at the bottom of the screen, look at my notes over here, there we go. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see bad category. I'll click into that. Here we go. I'm going to go and click expand all. We won't cover everything. Well, here we go. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and make a category for all my forums at first. Give it a logical name up here. You'll see here is where if you, if you wanted to, you could indicate a, an aggregation method separate and different from the overarching one of natural, which again is the system default, which is where we kind of talked about, well, we did talk about this uh, last week. So we're going to keep this category aggregation at natural also. We'll talk in a future segment about the exclude empty grades feature and some ideas involving the keeping the highest or dropping the lowest scores in a grade uh, a collection of gradable items. Uh, basically, uh, to utilize that, you'll need to have all those gradable items within that category have the same point value, but we'll cover more of that later. I'm going to go and scroll on down and click on save changes. We'll make this new category called forums. So it should come in at the bottom of the view here. There we go, forums. Let's make another one for assignments. Same straightforward process. Click that add category button. And we'll just call it assignments. And like everything else in Moodle, you can create something and then later on go revisit that item's 
settings to make any changes to. My high CPU usage is affecting something. So here we got the forms, we have the assignments category, and we'll make one more for quizzes now. There we go. You know, like our little secret e lab set up in here? This isn't the media zone, it's a separate lab, undisclosed location. Okay, let's go ahead and get all of the assignments into the assignment category. It's just a simple matter of putting a check in the box for each one of these over on the right side. Oops, don't want that one. There we go. So just that one, assignment 10 through 1. There we go. Okay, and at the bottom, let's move selected items to the, let's double check, was that assignments? Yeah, always gotta double check yourself. Down to assignments. And here that churns for a minute, and that puts them all in the assignments category. So speedy. Okay, we'll do the same with the forms. Form one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, these are the forums. We're going to move those into the forums category. I'll also send out a link in my follow up message to the Moodle.org page for Moodle categories. Now let's move all the quizzes into the quiz category. Go them all. Move select items to quizzes. And here it is. Okay. So if you look carefully, you'll see the forums category contains all of the individual forums. The assignments category contains all the individual assignments, see how they're indented under there, and then the same with the quizzes. Let's just say, for example, that we wanted to move a category, or for that matter, any individual item. Again, we're within the categories and items view when you get a lot of organization done for your Moodle Gradebook. Let's just say we wanted to move the assignments up to appear above the forums category. It'd be a simple matter of this little icon right here. That's how you move things within the great book. You don't have quite the, the click and drag we have the luxury of having on the Moodle course start page. But when you click this little icon up here, it gives you some targets. And if you worked in versions of Moodle prior to version two, you know, this looks familiar. Put the little targets up here. So the target, if I want to move the categories, go to the very top here. Very straightforward. And that is about the gist of what we wanted to cover today, the why and the really the basics of how to create categories in your Moodle gradebook. We're gonna talk again in the future, like I said, um, about weighting, about keeping the lowest and highest scores, a bunch of other uh, detailed aspects of the, of the Moodle gradebook. Um, let me go and click on stop share. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and send out a follow-up message with a link to the recording version of this webinar and a link to, like I said earlier, uh, the uh, Moodle.org resource page for the topic of Moodle and Gradebook categories. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you next week. I think next week we're talking about, yeah, a Moodle Gradebook category waiting. So I'd like to wait for that. Have a good week.